Welcome to our 3 minute crash course on HTTP methods. In this video, we'll cover the different types of HTTP methods, also known as verbs, that are used to interact with web resources. There are several HTTP methods that can be used in a request, but the most commonly used ones are get, post, put, delete, and patch. Get requests attempt to gather resources from the web server. This could be any resource, including a web page, user data, a video, an address, and so on. If the request is successful, the server will provide the resource, otherwise, the server will provide a response, explaining why it was unable to get the requested resource. Post requests submit data contained in the body of the request to a web server. This could include client records, requests to transfer money from one account to another, and status updates, for example. If a client submits the same post request multiple times, the server will create multiple results. Put requests instruct the web server to store submitted data under the requested URL. Put is primarily used to send a resource to a web server. If a server accepts a put request, it will add the resource or completely replace the existing resource. If a put request is successful, a new URL should be created. If the same put request is submitted again, the results should remain the same. Patch requests are used to partially update resources with the submitted data. Patch requests are likely only available if an HTTP response includes the accept patch header. The delete method is used to delete a resource from the server. This method is often used to remove a resource that is no longer needed. Some methods are idempotent, which means they can be used to send the same request multiple times without changing the state of a resource on a web server. For example, if you perform the operation of turning on a light, then the light turns on. When the switch is already on and you try to flip the switch on again, it remains on. Nothing changes. Get, head, put, options, and delete are idempotent. On the other hand, non-idempotent methods can dynamically change the results of a resource on a server. Non-idempotent methods include post, patch, and connect. Post is the most commonly used method for changing web server resources. Post is used to create new resources on a web server, so if a post request is submitted 10 times, there will be 10 new resources on the web server. By contrast, if an idempotent method like put, typically used to update a resource, is requested 10 times, a single resource will be overwritten 10 times. And there you have it, a brief overview of the most common HTTP methods used in web development. By understanding these methods and their corresponding HTTP response codes, you'll be better equipped to build robust and scalable web applications.